Hello and welcome to this OCAD tutorial. My name is Andreas Keyboards and today's topic is about checking control sites. I guess you have all been involved in some kind of uh, course setting for training or competition and uh, you know also that it is very important to check the control sites in the terrain if you want to have a really good quality for training or for competition. And I think the OK SketchUp is a great tool for doing so. But as a start, I will also show you some tools that you can use at home to check the control sites beforehand to avoid some extra work. For example, if you detect that there is a new building or a new cutting at the intended uh, control site. I have here opened my uh, a sample map. You can load this map also if you go to the file menu, open sample map and uh, you see there is a simple course with some uh, controls and if I zoom in for example to the first control and I will check if this control can be set then I have the possibility to start the geo viewer that opens me google street view at this uh, site so i click on the icon and then i click in the map at the desired position and indicate a direction and it opens me my browser with google street view at the correct position and you see this building here that's where i tend to set my first control if I go to the second control, I can repeat this procedure. So I click on this icon, open GeoViewer, and I click in the map, indicate a direction, and it opens me second uh, page. And I see also this control could be set easily. There are also other GeoViewers you can uh, define you need to go to the menu options in the OCAD preferences and then to the general category and then you see the GeoViewer URL. Now there are some predefined, for example, also the Swiss topo map for all the Swiss guys. Then if I uh, use this tool again, it opens me just the Swiss topo aerial image and I can see if there are new buildings, for example, or not. Having said buildings, you can check that also with uh, another tool called VMS VMTS. Also for uh, Swiss guys, there are some uh, VMS from Swiss Topo, for example, for the for the amtliche Vermessung, so for the official survey. I can add this layer to my map and then I go to background map and uh, make it transparent and like this I have all the, the new buildings uh, that are up to date and I see if there are some new buildings that would make it um, impossible to set a control or not but uh, that looks nice so I can remove this layer again yeah these are just uh, some possibilities to make a quick check before you go to the train as I said just to avoid some extra work if you like if you plan to set the control where there is a new building at the moment or where there is a new cutting for example in a forest training or competition but what I have also mentioned in, at the beginning, it is mandatory, almost mandatory to do also a check in the terrain. And um, there you can use uh, your smartphone and uh, download the OCAD Sketch app to your smartphone. And then you can load your core setting project to the smartphone and do a check in the terrain with it. You see on my smartphone, I have uh, installed the OCAD Sketch app. 
you can download it from Google Play or from uh, the Apple App Store. You have to search for Oket Sketch. It's uh, free for use and free for download. A really great tool, I must say. To export your course setting project to the app, you have the possibility. You have to go to the file menu and then choose the Oket Sketch app data exchange function and then you can create the uh, first project for example core setting city sprint that's fine and then you'd like to export the data to the map uh, as an extent you can choose the entire map that's fine and I also like to export my back uh, my map file and I just click on execute data processing and as a, a transfer option I choose the Orchid cloud transfer that's uh, easiest so it will upload the project to the Orchid cloud from where on you can download it again as you can see the upload has been successful and you get uh, beside a link you get also a QR code and on my mobile phone I open now a QR scanner and uh, I can scan this QR code and I get a, a link that I open and that will download me the project to my Orchid Sketch app And now it's available in my project setting or now it's available in my project list and I can open it and uh, one feature that is missing unfortunately is that the position is outside of my of the map area of course I'm sitting at home and not in Solitorin and that's quite quite a pity because I think it's uh, great to have uh, the position on the map that gives you an additional security whether you are at the right uh, contour site or not but nev nevertheless you see that my map is now on the smartphone and I can zoom in to a contour site I can shift the map and I can also do some changes to the map for example if I have uh, some single trees that are missing I can just uh, make a, a note or there is maybe a new hatch I can choose a different color different line width and I can draw it with only only with my fingers I think that's uh, it's uh, precise enough if you zoom in like that you see I have made some changes to the first control if I'm at another control I can also um, choose a different color and uh, we place this control at the new site for example here and make some notes and I can go through every control and uh, really update the map and also the control sites if I'm done, I can just close the project and then I can send it back to Orchid Cloud Transfer. I could also upload my position log, but uh, that's useless now for me as I had no position. I just want to upload the project and now it's again in the Orchid Cloud and I switch uh, back to my desktop, Orchid Desktop. I go again to the file menu and to the Orchid SketchUp data exchange function and this time I'd like to import data from the app and uh, click on get importable files and you see there is my um, project I have just uploaded and I import the data and now 
I can see the sketches I made that the control that should be placed at this position and now I'm in the pro uh, core setting project I, of course I had to go to the map file to do the map changes there but it's really a great tool you see you could um, send this project also to other people that are involved in core setting uh, it could be the controller it could be the map maker it could be uh, some event advisor so i think it really helps you with collaboration and with uh, managing your training or competition yeah that's it from uh, this video i hope you got a good impression how you could how OCAD can help you with checking the control sites and uh, of course also how powerful the OCAD sketch app could be in this uh, in this field thanks you thank you for watching and uh, see you next time